body bags were whore lies. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to uh, Monday's edition of Body Bags. Today I'm going to review an independent film released by Tribeca Films and it is called The Facility. Also known as Guinea Pigs. Um, basically what this film is about is seven people, it's four men and three women, volunteer to go to Linebrook Medical Facility to basically become guinea pigs. Uh, they want to try to earn 2,000, it's either euros or pounds, I'm not quite sure, but they want to try to earn some money to, you know, be lab rats. Uh, they all have to stay there for like two weeks, and uh, they all get administered uh, two milligrams of Pro-9, a new drug that the medical facility is trying to test on humans. Uh, one, they all take it one by one, and as they go into the room to, you know, receive their shot, uh, each character is introduced. Uh, you learn their name. Uh, you learn a little bit about the character in the film. And then, you know, and I, after the first person goes in, maybe an hour later, they bring in the next one. They're basically doing that to see how long it takes for the drugs to take effect and whether or not it has bad side effects and whether or not the next person ends up having the same type of side effects. Um, the drug does have side effects and they're pretty drastic. Uh, basically, the side effects are like severe rashing, inflammation like in the face and the hands and everything, and um, rage, kind of like rabies. Uh, the people go mad and they hurt some of the other patients and the doctors and so on and so forth. That's basically what this film is about. Um, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, very surreal. Uh, pretty creepy. I mean, this is something that probably actually happens in the real world, which, I well, hell, I know it does. But, of course, you know, a lot of medical facilities, when things go wrong like that, they keep stuff hush hush. Uh, this movie tried to come off as like being like a true story. Of course it's not a true story, but it it's, can it's, can be based around one, um, <clears throat> if that made any sense. But uh, it has some really good character development, some really good acting. Uh, the main actor is um, the young man from Citadel. I'm not sure what his name is, but um, He's pretty good in the film, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it does have some blood, and I also like the way the film was made. Um, kind of like two points of view. It was all, it was filmed like like any like like an ordinary film. Sorry that I'm stuttering. It was filmed like an ordinary film, but then there's also scenes that are kind of like found footage off a surveillance camera. Um, once you know the first patient starts getting sick and going in a rage, all the other patients kind of panic, they lock themselves in a room, um, and basically they're all scared to death knowing that sooner or later they're going to end up getting the same type of facts, it's just going to take a while. So that's kind of, that's kind of like the psychological suspense that builds up, you know, um, I couldn't imagine being in a situation like that where I have a drug inside of me and I know sooner or later it's going to make me go nuts and going to want to rip my hair out and start hurting people and mutilating myself. Um, a majority, like say, there's only a few kills in it, but what they, you know, the, some of the kills they show are on the surveillance cameras, which I, I think it's cool. I really like it. Um, but yeah, I think this is a very cool independent film. If I had to give this out of five stars, I'd probably give it a three and a half. Uh, solid acting, and it's just, I don't know, all in all, to me, it was creepy as hell. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the tagline is, one new drug, seven volunteers, 17 hours of hell, and it's warning side effects may be fatal. Yeah, the side effects in this are pretty damn fatal. But uh, definitely uh, give the facility a go. Especially if you're into a lot of independent films. Uh, this was a really cool watch for me. I really, really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Deuces.